Let's see if we can write the numbers shown here in digits. We have 3 million, so we can write a 3 and then a comma. Then we read the number in words up until we see thousand, and we have 603,000. Then we look at the rest of the number, so that's 802. Now, on to our next number, we have 7 million, so 7, comma. Then we have 512,000, so that's 512, comma. And then we read the rest of our number, and we have 145. Now this last one is a little more confusing, but we follow the same steps. We have 3 million, so that's 3, and then our first comma. Then we have 800,000, so 800, comma. And then, for the rest of our number, we just have 18. So we need to write 0, 18, to show that we don't have any hundreds. Now let's see if we can write the numbers shown here in words. We have two commas in our number, so we know that this first digit will be millions. So we can write 4 million. Then we know that if there are two commas in a number, the second comma will separate thousands and hundreds. So we have 215,000. Then, because we don't have any hundreds, tens, or units, we don't need to write anything else. Our number is just 4,215,000. Now, for this second number, we have a 3 and then a comma, so that's 3 million. Then we have 305 and another comma, so that's 305,000. Then we have the rest of our number, so that's 705. Now this last number looks a bit strange, but we follow the same steps. The first comma separates our millions and our hundred thousands, so we can write 2 million. But here, when writing the number in words, we don't need a comma, because we don't have any thousands at all, and we don't have any hundreds. We have 000, zero, zero in our thousands place value columns, so when writing the number in words, we don't need to write thousand. Instead, we can just move straight on to looking at our hundreds, tens, and units. We don't have any hundreds, all we have is 2 in our tens to represent 20. So we can finish writing this number in words by just writing and 20.